I have been the director of the Sudbury Neutrino Observatory, which is the first uh, major experiment in what has now become Snow Lab, uh, the uh, international underground facility near Sudbury, Ontario. The Sudbury Neutrino Observatory, or SNOW, uh, used a thousand tons of heavy water to make measurements of neutrinos from the sun, benefiting from being two kilometers underground to shield out cosmic radiation and therefore get a very low background uh, uh, detector. We were able to observe these neutrinos at roughly one an hour and uh, in the process of these measurements could resolve the question of whether neutrinos from the sun changed their type uh, in transit to the earth. We could be definitive about that because with the heavy water we could measure the type produced in the core of the sun and also the sum of all types of neutrinos and comparing those two we found that uh, only about a third of the neutrinos reaching us were actually the electron neutrinos produced in the core. This meant that uh, first of all we were we had a clear indication that neutrinos change their flavor and therefore uh, <clears throat> have a finite mass and we were also able to determine that the models of how the sun burns, and in particular the nuclear reaction that we were measuring, uh, was being calculated very accurately. So uh, those measurements were uh, quite significant, it was felt, in, in uh, the world of physics and astrophysics. Perimeter provides a very good base for the theoretical aspects of the things for which we are doing uh, uh, measurements. So it's, it's great for me and for others from our experimental groups across country, across Canada and, uh, and elsewhere to uh, uh, be able to interact with uh, people at uh, Perimeter who are truly experts on the type of uh, questions that we're dealing with, particularly the dark matter question. So we look forward to future uh, collaborations and uh, events as uh, time goes on to uh, emphasize, let's say, the breadth of uh, expertise in this particular area of physics that exists here in Canada, both experimentally in our case and uh, theoretically at uh, Perimeter. <laughs>